G'day and welcome back for more Scrapyard Survival. There was a suggestion that I want to implement here, which was to take out this inset bookshelf and rotate it 90 degrees. Because then, when I put it in, where's my, where's my thing? Where is it? Under that? This inset kitchen? No. Bookshelf? No. Under this? Yeah. Rotate it that way, because then I have the mugs next to the kitchen. And all makes sense. Which is quite nice. And so I've been waiting to do that. So there we go. Very, very nice. Now, my job right at this moment is to build myself a scouting vehicle, because I have a bunch of people who are going to meet up with me so that we can do a scouting mission to one of the poles. My thoughts are that this vehicle here is probably... A decent start for me to use as a scout vehicle. Yeah, it's missing half of its wheels, but it should work out all right. It's got an engine, which I hopefully have the parts to be able to repair, which means it'll have a decent amount of power, and I should be able to maybe fit a couple more batteries on it. Plus, the nice thing about this is it's already well set up with a bunch of benches so that I can pick up extra people if they lose their rover, or bring extra people along with me who can possibly uh, help out if things start going sideways. When things start going sideways. I have been informed that some other people have managed to equip themselves with a few survival kits and the like. So we should have some shared respawns so that we can all keep going if everything goes wrong. I'm tempted to make it a little more all-terrain, but I also kind of like that this is 3x3 three three wheels means I'm losing something a bit less. I may even remove the middle set and just go with four wheels. Just to, you know, uh, add a bit of extra <laughs> risk to it, but also make it cheaper again. I had been thinking about taking the helicopter, but I think it's a bit too big for this mission. I'm going to use it for some later missions, I think, as I'd kind of like to hold on to it and not have it get destroyed so soon. But also, it, it's going to require a bit more work to be refit to fit everything in because it's got no cockpit, it's got no other things like that. So this is actually the far simpler option. There is no power on this. So let's see if we can repair this engine. I keep going to that cargo container thinking I can access it. I cannot. There we go. How long does it say it's got power for engine... Mm, it's dropping relatively quick, quickly. What if I turn off all these wheels? This is slowed down, but it's still significant. I think it might... I think it might just be my engineer using up all that power. Alright, uh... That's fine. I can turn the engine on and off as I need it. I only used up 2% there. I should probably try and get this antenna fixed so that people can spot me and it keep in touch easily. All right, we have four wheels. I'm gonna paint that one just to match them at least a little bit. The next thing I think I need to do to this is get rid of this connector. And I'm gonna make it so that you can more easily hop into the vehicle from the back. Hmm, how many liters of fuel are in one of these little tanks? That one's got 7,000. That one's got 14,000. And the engines hold 5,000. So if I grab one of those, I might actually be able to just use one of those little I may, be, I may be able to use just one of them as my power supply. The engine and that. I'll just go with that. It's tempting. Yeah, is this going to be easier to get up and down? I think it might be. So you can't walk up it, but if you jump, I think that should be okay. Even for people with higher latency, that should be doable. I'm kind of tempted to leave this a little bit wrong. Oh, actually, no. That's what I need to do. Let's make it in my paint tone so that it's all a bit mixed. Yeah. Rough shot repair. Perfect. Oh, nuts. Um, that's right. That's not going to work. I was about to try and grind that out to get to conveyor it up, but I think I'd be better off cutting through here. That. And then one more block. If I can get to it. Get conveyor in there. Cool. Now I should be able to hook up at least one tank here. Maybe I'll do two so that I've got a little more fuel supply. Oh, hydrogen bottle. That's going to be handy when my hydrogen 
Warning, hydrogen low. Warning, hydrogen low. Kind of warnings come up. Whoa, oh, oh, whoa. Oh, oh no. Bah. <laughs> okay. Don't do that again. Let's try and do this more sensibly. I was trying to just push it around and hope it was hope for the best. Not a smart way to do things. There we go. One in. Ooh. I may have an opportunity for a um trade meeting and test out this rover which is perfect because i've just got that finished i have organized a trade for my other proficient welder let's just get the rest of this floor done so as you can see the discussion got some interesting uh responses as to what trades were for offer but i've decided to go with zardas because i really want the grids but also a dance but the grids but the dance, but the, you know, you know how it is. And I now have six extra seats. Now, obviously driving this now means I'm going to run out some of the fuel, but at least I'll get a bit of an idea and whether I'm going to need to put some more, well, put some batteries on it to get it working. Okay, cool. I'm good to go, I suppose. I need to grab my other proficient welder wherever I've put it. Let's go find it. Gotta bring the stuff to trade with. Pro. Of course, the downside of traveling with the scout vehicle is that I'm not really going to be able to do anything scrap-wise with it. So, it'll be a bit limited on that front. Turn our lights on. Park brake off. Whoa, okay, this thing's spicy. Does cap out its power, just with this many wheels. But their power, I think, must be set pretty high. No. No, it's not. Alright, let's drop that to 50. Drop my friction down. Speed limit. Unlimited. We're taking chances. Okay, I just need to find out where Zarda's at, and I'll be heading that way. So this thing goes okay. With the 50% power wheels, I've got 80... I hit 85-ish when I'm at full thrust, which isn't too bad. It's relatively stable, like I can steer at speed, ish. And the spotlight works, so, you know, winning. In fact, the spots probably go out a bit further. I wonder at what point Zada's going to be able to hear me. Oh no, this doesn't have a gyroscope. I should probably not be driving this fast. Oh, oh dear. That was lucky. I should probably put a gyroscope on this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I should definitely put a gyroscope on this. I do have the... yeah. I should definitely have a gyro on this. <laughs> Can't believe I got away with that just then. That was rather surprising. Hello up there! I come bearing trade goods. Or good trades. Hey, how's it going? Ah! Well, that's a hole. Yeah, that is a hole. Do watch <laughs> out. <laughs> I, hmm. Yep, that happened. How's Thought I'd going? test out my scout vehicle. Am I crouching? I was crouching. Why was I crouching? Yes, you. I don't know. It's a bit weird. <laughs> Ooh. Is this, a, is this a potential scout vehicle? It is, yes. Ooh. Got a four-seat other side. I've kind of retrofitted it a little bit. Very nice. And very easy to get into the seats, too. Yes. <laughs> I, I had to work on mine a little bit to try and make the back end a little more accessible. Yeah, I'm not too sure about how this uh, front bump is going to go. It may have to be <laughs> raised slightly, depending on the terrain, but we'll see. Uh, I mean, possibly. The, I reckon the bit that's going to cause you a problem is this stuff down the bottom, right down the bottom, if anything. The front yeah, bit seems I'm, like it'd be fairly clear. Yeah, I'm thinking about moving this uh, this wheel. I'll bring it up front so it's, yeah. Yeah, probably about there. Oh, then this this thing will start looking like a bit like a hot rod conversion of a train, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Um, yeah, so I came bearing supplies 
There we go. And uh, I also owe you one of these. I believe so. <laughs> very nice. Very well played. Thanking you. Thank you for the grids. That's going to be very helpful for my large cargo container. Yeah, I imagine so. They are a pretty big uh, resource sink. Yeah, 24, la 24 metal grids is um, hard to come by. It is, yeah. yeah. Or at least it seems to be for me. Other people seem to have found them much more easily than I have. Ah, nice little spot here. So yeah. you're slowly... Are you slowly removing the roof or slowly repairing the roof? Uh, well, I had a bit of an accident with Clang. Oh. Uh, I had a couple of minutes left last week and I had to quickly merge my rover in and I kind of put it over the top of a wheel, not realizing it. Oh, right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that did happen. Oh, wow. You've got a large hydrogen tank too. Is that hydro? I do. Yeah. Yeah, large hydro. Very nice. Hmm. My collection of... Yeah. Uh, hydro tanks, I've scrapped for well, computers mostly. That's really what I'm hurting on. Ah, yeah. Yeah, I can see that being in... I've... I, I don't know where I got most of mine from, but I think I got them from, like, just loot in stuff. Or I, yep. And I got a couple of cockpits. Mm. Oh, I look forward to uh, driving alongside this crane in the morning. Yeah. You mean should... train? Train, yeah. I said crane. Yes. I meant train. I've got cranes <laughs> and trains on the brains. But, um, they get confused. Yeah, that I know. I was really not expecting <laughs> that. Me and word games don't tend to earn, end very well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's this over here? Oh. A bit of debris. <laughs> that would be from the clang accident, I guess. Uh, that was from one earlier today. Oh. That uh, it did not like attaching to, rover, uh, to a rotor and it kind of shaved off the back half of my rover. Oh. So okay. I think I've I think I've let my lesson now. Uh, connectors only. <laughs> thank you very much for the grids and the dance. No worries. Oh. Uh, thank you for the the welder. That's gonna save me a lot of time, actually. I hope so. I'll see you at the meetup point in the morning. Yeah, have a good one. Thanks. See ya. Now I must not roll this with my freshly acquired grids. <laughs> that would be bad. So bad. I wonder. Can this thing fit up the ramp? I don't, think it fits, I don't think it can fit through the gate, even if it can. Oh, actually, ooh, it can. Interesting. Well, if it survives, I might have a parking spot for it. <laughs> but for now, I'm just going to park it right here in front. And break on, power off, preserve the remaining fuel. Alright, I'm closer to the South Pole, so I'm going to go and find us a meetup point, and then I'm going to bring... And then I'm going to let everyone know where to go. Let's do some driving, and hopefully don't flip this thing, because I have not added a gyroscope. <laughs> so I ran out of time. So this is going to get interesting. Alright, time for me to set up, send out the meetup point. I wonder how long it's going to take people to get here. Shouldn't take them too long, I think. Oh, I'm so excited for this. This, this could be such a disaster, <laughs> such a good experience, I don't know which it's going to be. Uh, who's going to arrive first? No, nope. that scrap abandoned settlement keeps tricking me, making me think someone's coming into view. Ooh, uh, please ensure turrets, uh, off prior to arrival. Oh, hey Zada. Welcome. You were talking about turrets then. You got me worried that you had one that you hadn't turned off yet. No. <laughs> I don't. Uh -oh. But I, I'm wondering whether someone does. Because I really don't want everything to get shut up. Now, is this... This is the six-wheeler, isn't it? Yeah, but I yeah, cut so off it's... some of the wheels because I mm -hmm. thought it'd make it cheaper. I was pretty... less prepared than I should have been. Yeah, this is um, what my main rovers made out of. Two of these Wildwood side-by-side. Ah. Oh. Cool. Oh, here come the FOS peoples. With, um... Is that mix of Polish and German? We also got someone else here. Oh, we do. Ah, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Hey. Oh. Fish bowl. Fish bowl arrives full of fish. A fish bowl? 
Well, it's all glass on the back. It's a fishbowl. Safety club. <laughs> all right. Can't deny that. Yeah. Safety Should rename it, it to sardines yeah. then. <laughs> well, I was actually curious. What does the name of it mean? Do you want me to butcher uh, it it's... in Australian yeah. English, or do you want to just tell me? <laughs> yeah, tr try it. I'll tell you later. Oh no, no! You got to tell me now. I'm gonna schnitzel if I'm gonna butcher. Waffel. Oh, is that schnitzel? It's a, it's a Polish uh, Polish spelling of that. Right. I I thought it was Polish, but I'm like, wait, isn't? I didn't realize uh, waffle was gonna be the same in both. Yeah, just one F. Huh. Ah. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Uh, uh, there's somebody behind us still. Be cool. aware. All right. Good. Uh, can you park your Rover next to my one over there, facing the same way. I want to kind of get a group photo before we all go to our demise. Group selfie. Yeah. Before and after oh, shot. Oh, gee. Sir, you need to learn where to walk. <laughs> uh, reminder, Shadow does not have a driver's license. What? I, I've hey. played plenty of video games, thank you very much. <laughs> does Shadow need a driver's license, to be fair? No, Drive your license you're doesn't you tell that people can drive. It's only helpful to, to <laughs> find them when they uh, drive badly. You're lucky she can see above the dashboard. <laughs> okay, to be fair, I actually learned... <laughs> <laughs> That's why she's got most of her driving. Welcome, thank you. Dependence on a pedestrian, Welcome. I'd argue. So, just waiting for Junkyard to line up there. Stoppy! <laughs> Ooh, that was a good idea. <laughs> a bit those heavy diving. Uh... Junkyard, suggestion for your heavy braking. Uh, maybe turn braking off on your front set of wheels. Alright, gotta go for a wide angle first to get all the rovers in. Okay, everybody, smile! Or reload, right whatever you want to do. <laughs> <laughs> Say cheesels. Okay, people, let's load up in rovers. Oh yeah, has everyone got their survival kits set to use by everybody? And named yes, friends of Steve Oh yeah, and can you make sure they're named as well? So that they're like Scouting Mission or something like that. So it's nice and easy to find. Uh I'll lead the way because I think my rover is probably the least valuable here. Okay, I'm back. I don't know about that. Well, I don't even have a gyroscope, so. <laughs> ah, gyroscope's so overrated. I, I can't I can't drive at full power because I don't have enough power for my back. So you're saying I'm gonna die back here? Uh, there's a good chance of it. There's a good chance everyone here is going to die. At least a couple of times. Yay! I'll live I up to my the name plan then. was that we have to die at least one. Oh, we appear to maybe need to go a bit slower because we've got some people... Got to wait on the train on the locomotive. Oh, that really makes me just want to bind all these vehicles together into one Also, train. we won't hear each other if we spread out too much. Yeah, that's the other challenge with this is... Gotta keep close enough we can hear people. Uh, what is your speed limit set to split? Speed limit? Yes. Oh, oh no. <laughs> what is your preferred driving speed here? <laughs> uh, slow enough that people can keep up. I'm looking for a number so that I don't rear end you on accident. 25 ish, I think. 25 ish, okay. 25 to 30. Depends on the amount of spice you're feeling. I mean, I have no speed limits set because if we have to run away from things, I'd rather run, flip, and die than get shot. It is more comedic that way, yes. Push. I also like to believe I have control over the way I go out. Your passenger in your back seat. I, yeah, but it, you'll be fine. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be okay. I don't see where I am driving. Oh, he's saying that thing again. I think we need to take a bit of a right, everybody. This cliff face is... um gonna be a problem. Have we lost anyone? How many vehicles did we have? Yeah. Frosty left behind, checking the scrap. Yeah. yeah, I thought we had six vehicles. I count nine people and 13 total, looks like. Whee! Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, what's going on? Turtle! Turtle! Need a ride? Um, anyone got the stuff for a piston quickly? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently I nosed down over that lip. Well, I'm fairly certain I caught that on camera. Anyone got a couple of bits for a piston or...? Yep. I'm yep. so glad... This is the second time I've already used these parts. 
Uh, I could take apart one of my boarding ramps. That might have some bits in it. It's okay, oh, we got wait, enough wait, for wait, one. Wait. So it should be right. There's so many people here. Maybe we could just grab your hands and tie a thing. Oh, actually, good call. Hey. Yeah. Um, everybody. Ah. Grab the nose. Uh, grab on this side and left. I'd suggest wheels. Uh, we may need to come around the other side and pull now. <laughs> it's not quite strong enough, is it? Uh, All right, while you guys are pulling, are onto the wheels. while you guys are grabbing that, I'll quickly build a piston to do the last little push. Everybody, grab and get ready to pull. Three, two, one. Yeah! There we go! Haha! <laughs> okay. Nice. Uh, Ross, do you want to grab those parts? Yep. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Thank you, everybody. That was good teamwork. It's just testing how this would work. Uh, totally intentional. That's not the second time I've flipped this rover already. Teamwork makes the community work? Or having a gyro. Oh, your cockpit's pretty banged up. <laughs> how bad. <laughs> well, yeah, it's it got no bulletproof glass. It was down to just above the functional line before <laughs> I started on it. <laughs> okay, yeah, this this truck's not going to last long. I should be more careful. I keep forgetting I don't have a gyro on it. Oh! <laughs> Man. 3x3 three three wheels. Yeah, so much more powerful than I think. Sure, should blame the wheels. Alright, let's go. Watch out for the big tree. Uh oh. Yeah, I, I love how everybody just went away without. We're supposed um, to be following him. And, uh... We may have righted the vehicle, but the vehicle is now dead. So, second chest wound. Let's can... um, ride with these guys. Uh, feel um, free to grind out the other two people. It's alright. I can ride on top. Okay. Oh no! Wait. There's a seat coming. There we go. Wow. Is there anything we want to take off the vehicle to carry with us? Honestly, maybe just the cockpit. Hey, Splits. Yeah? Could you quickly hop in the cockpit and turn off hand braking? On what? On <laughs> this? <laughs> Alright. What did you lose to make this vehicle inoperable? Uh, power. Ah. That was the engine right, dead. Yeah, the, one of the tanks still has fuel, but the, for some reason it didn't transfer to the engine, and uh, so it died a lot sooner than it should have. Yeah. That's weird. Anyway. It didn't help running into a tree. Apparently, um, I'd run out of power before that even happened. <laughs> oh, crazy. All right, I'm hopping in the truck. Uh, everyone load up again. Let's, uh, one vehicle down. Although I think Shadow's I'm determined to bring it. Two vehicles down, yes, sorry. My bad. You are correct. Yep, looks like everyone's good. Let's move on. We're down to left behind. five vehicles. Whoa! Whoa! Hearing a woe from Shadow and then seeing a, my former rover bouncing all over the place. I heard the woe and immediately dived for a seat. <laughs> <laughs> Area is off limits. Turn back now. All right, everybody, put your game faces on. It's about to get spicy. So does that mean we have to go in reverse now? <laughs> yes, you follow. You have to drive in reverse, I, I and Shadow prepared. has to do it because she's got a trailer. So that'll be even <laughs> worse. Uh, we may need to veer a bit to the left. Follow that flatter track around there. Where and yes. There is an entire convoy following my my directions, which is horrifying, to say the least. Also, I am getting many a screenshot. <laughs> I like not having to drive. Anymore. This has actually worked out really favorably for me. <laughs> the goal here is to find the polar ice cap and see, get, try and get a feel of how well defended it is and what we might need to prepare in order to go there, mine it, and leave, and then eventually go there, mine it, and hold it. Because we're going to need that fuel to get off this planet. 
Yeah, because there's there's yeah. many a trailer driving next to us. <laughs> I think we might need to go left. Uh, harder left. The other Hard left. left. Uh, we may need to go single file through this section. Keep following this sandy bit all the way to the end. There's a bit of stony stuff directly in front of us. Just veer around it just as around to the left and climb up over it. Seems to be the smoothest path. And then we can follow this bit of grass through. Let's see, it's navigated. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> oh, wow. You gotta give a heads up before you crash like that. <laughs> Those invisible trees, they're just evil. Yeah, excuses, excuses. And rocks. I haven't, like, because we've been, most of us have lived in the desert. Trees haven't been an issue. Yeah. Aha! Ice. Ice. See? I did not lead nice. us astray. Well. Alright, let's head, let's keep heading towards the pole. See what sort of trouble we're in for. Oh right, I forgot there was the GPS for that. Now you know how I haven't gotten us completely lost, do you fall? Oh, that's... Oh, I thought those were grids. No, they're just... Scenery. Yeah, I was concerned they were sort of turret emplacements. Yeah. <laughs> Oh! What the? Okay. Uh, um, that didn't take long. Wrong way, turn back. Wrong way, turn back. There's wrong way, turn backs behind us. And so many blizzards. We, we are surrounded. Um, so, a couple of options. Uh, I, I did not bring clean plants. <laughs> I think we might need to run, um, and I'm not sure which way, but I don't think going through that mountain pass is the way to go, so move, oh, move, yeah. move! Drive, 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 drive! In. Oh, under fire. Oh, boy. The sim speed is making this so Ow. much more dramatic. I've been shot. You did install turbos, didn't you? Uh, it's on fire. Oh, down. oh no! I have fallen off. Oh no, we lost Frosty! Oh, I crashed! We crashed into the track. No! Oh dear, we're, we're going over. Oh! Oh dear! Jump in, jump in, jump in! Yep, <laughs> I think I'm clear. Yeah! That's still good. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on! Never on. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Just try and get away from the pole. I don't know how far these things will chase us. But there are so many. I I did not anticipate this. Holy cow. I have never seen this many red signals before. <laughs> It's like a perfect seppy circle behind us. <laughs> We're in the wrong part of the horseshoe here. Um, if you can, try and pick a path that- Oh, that's a base in front of us! Oh, that's a bad time for a tree. That is tree revenge right there. Oh no, I got shot out of the seat! My seat's destroyed! Can I line this up in time? Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on! Let me in the seat, let me in the seat! I'm in, I'm in, I'm in! Looks like Gem's in! No! Unfortunately, my seat got shot! <laughs> Gem, jump in! <laughs> Quick, Gem! In, in, in! One of the seats be has been shot, so you might not be able to get in it. I got shot out of it. Help! Help! Wait, I can hear Shadow! Oh. <laughs> She's like still Shadow bouncing! <laughs> I bounced so far! Ah. Oh, 
Oh, I think Shadow might have just died. Oh, I think we're all going to die too. Oh, yeah. This is going to target on me. Oh, oh, Gem just got booted from the seat. So did Ramon. <laughs> I can't believe the locomotive is one of the last vehicles still functioning. <laughs> Oh wait, Shadow is alive. I'm missing one of my front wheels. I saw that. <laughs> like you've got um, one of your middle wheels randomly steering for you. That's locked in position. Because it's damaged. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm watching the train disintegrate in front of me. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stuck to the wheel. Stuck to the wheel. Not fun. <laughs> How is that? How is that locomotive still going? <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Oh! I died. Ahoy! Hello! Hello! Oh, there he is! <laughs> hello, hello! Is that someone's screenshot from this? Maybe. <laughs> you can have the action replay if you so desire. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Roll through. That was um, not my greatest of showings, was it? But holy cow. Probably one of your better ones. That that polar region is more evil than I thought it was. I realized oh. one of their powers was ruining the sim speed. Or oh, no. making it super dramatic and slow-mo. <laughs> Could it be both? Oi! I think we were actually quite a way in before we triggered, so I'm kind of hoping we can go right to the edge, mine, and then run away. Um, that might be something we try to do. My, I've got some ideas of what we can do next, so keep an eye on the stuff, but I do have some ideas. <laughs> I, I'm just sad that the last rover I Don't flipped had around, two please. large Atmos on it and some batteries, and I just... I really lived... <laughs> Zada lived, the one survivor. This door that saved my life so many times. still relatively well intact, to be fair. It's still got five wheels. <laughs> yeah, but have a look at the middle one on the on the right here. Have a look at the angle it's stuck at. <laughs> it's wow. Just, just like what? Epic. That was one heck of a journey, Zada. Well played. Oh, wasn't it? <laughs> And I even stopped to try to pick up people along the way. Yeah, you picked up me <laughs> twice. I got in one oh. seat, that seat got shot up. I got booted out and I got in another seat, that seat got shot up. And then I eventually bounced several kilometers and uh, died after that one. The little locomotive that could. Trains are superior. I knew it. I knew it. I'm, I'm impressed that my barred windows at the top, like the front, are still attached. <laughs> I'm impressed that they're still attached. Like, there's only one block holding them on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it does prove the strength of the doors, and it does prove the value of putting your, um, I guess your most precious cargo at the rear, like being your control oh, right, seat. the doors, I completely forgot about them. Could you have used them? Yeah, doors, doors be strong. I wasn't even thinking about it for armor, I'll just put it on for aesthetics. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> worked really well. <laughs> Uh, um, before you go, you might want to check the LCD again. Nope. And no, it is not the like and subscribe. Oh, I, I deliberately put that on the far side. Wow. <sighs> well, thank you everybody for assisting with the scouting mission. I will be heading back to my base very shortly. And hopefully, uh, I'll have a plan for us to deal with how we're going to get some ice to start building up some fuel to eventually, in the very distant future, escape this place. Uh, but I will see you all soon. Bye! 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 Bye. Bye. See you. Dips on a skull. <laughs> <laughs> okay, scouting mission's done. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do next in terms of prepping for going to the pole, but I think I'm going to work on my base instead and just push those thoughts aside because they seem like they're going to be um, longer term.
I think still working on the base and getting my rover up to scratch is probably going to be the more, well, more pressing things to do. I don't really want to do anything too much with this building just yet. I think I need to find some more bits to get some more inspiration with for what I'm going to work on here. I'm probably going to turn this survival kit and connected blocks into a rover of some sort. I I think that's probably what's going to happen, but I suspect it's going to be something most almost entirely built from scratch just from the parts that are here. Now, I've been doing the maths and I have 8 metal grids here. I have 12 in the cargo containers that are already on the base. And I have 11 in the large cargo container. Which means I do have enough metal grids to put this cargo, can this cargo container together. However, I am not sure if I have enough room to empty this cargo container out and this one out in order to be able to use their metal grids to build it. And is this empty right now? This isn't even empty right now. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I think, is actually just offload the truck. I'm going to go and do some scouting, see if I can find something good. Because I haven't done any scouting today and I'd really like to. I want to, I want to, I want to bring something new home. So away... I go. And I probably don't get any real benefit from heading towards Sunrise, so I'm going to head away from it. Oh, it feels nice driving this after driving that terrible scout vehicle. <laughs> I'm going to build a better vehicle for the next thing that we do like that. Uh, oh boy. What is this I've spotted? Um, what? Uh, what was Frosty up to here? A rotor? A l I feel like this was attempting to do something with, like, flipping this over or something, maybe? And why is it just out here in the middle of nowhere? Wonder, should I pick it up and bre take it to my base and they can just grab it from there? Or do I leave it out here? This thing will never run out of power, so it's not going to get cleaned up. It's, um, this is very strange. I'm go- I, you know what? I'll mark where it is. Just in case Frosty doesn't want it. And then I can come back and grab it and it's a battery. Uh, but if not, I can at least tell Frosty where it is so they can come pick it up. <laughs> well, I'll, um, I'll update you guys if I hear back what the heck was going on with that battery. <laughs> Just down here in the middle of nowhere. Oh, spotted something. I didn't think I would at night, but I have fought, I've spotted something. There's some buildings just over here. That was lucky. We have some rundown office buildings or something, which I hadn't come across yet on the server. What do we have in here? Desks, anything in the locker, some med kits, take the computers while I'm here, see if there's anything upstairs, and a basic grinder, don't care, some more med kits, <laughs> wonder if... I don't think they would have been particularly useful during our little jaunt because... Oops, fell through the hole in the floor. Because I don't think I was ever in a position to use them. I think I was either very dead or not very injured at all. Oh, can I do this? I want to try. Can I jump across there, grind that, and will those drop down? No. No, they will not. What type of world was that? Oh, basic. Blech. Go away. There we go. Easy. Ooh, 12 motors. Not bad. Now, will this work? One, two, three. Ow. That didn't work. Alright, that'll do. Once I get that large cargo up and finished, I've probably got enough storage space that I can just start scrapping more things. 
at the moment I'm still being somewhat cautious about just picking up components I actually need need without picking up too much steel plate and other things like that but if I can get that thing finished I'll be in a much better position to just make up whatever I want oh another truck carrying a smashed up camper as well as another truck smashed up into that truck I might have found a potential trailer with this If I can separate these two, they look like I've collided. They don't seem to be linked up, so that's good. This has cryopods in it, so... Med components? Oh, two. Two. That's good, because that might give me that, uh... That might give me that survival kit that I've got on the vehicle in my garage. I try and just hook that up directly to this. Could I make it work? I add the wheel to this. Oh, I need to own the thing. No, I just need to own the whole grid. How am I going to own this whole grid? Oh wait, that's not even the wheel I want to fix. I want to pick it up from the front here. And I want to fix ones at the back. Because I'll have a nice flatbed to use as my basis of a trailer without having to build the whole thing from scratch myself. Which would be nice. Okay, I've loosened this thing off the top so I can pull it off with the crane. And then I should be able to pick up the whole truck with the crane. I just got to figure out what parts need to be hacked so that I can own this thing. It'll be these hydrogen tanks and something else up front here, I guess. There's no control seat or anything in here. Just got to get around to that tank. Where is it? Oh, no. Do I own this now? I do. Excellent. Cool. I can fix this up now. So what I want to do is probably come around this way. Reverse up. I want to make it so that I can just basically move this onto the hitch with my crane. Instead of using like pistons or anything built onto it, I'm going to use stuff built onto my crane. I'm going to use my crane to lift it up and do it all because it's here. It makes a lot of sense to me. It's rare that I'm in a situation where I can use a crane to do this instead of say having to um, use a piston or something built onto the grid that I'm trying to move around. Throw that over there. This makes it a lot easier to whoop, toss that bit off. Whee! <laughs> this makes it a lot easier to add the wheel back on than I want to add on. Don't think I've got the parts to build these. Yeah, I didn't pick up any large steel tubes on this trip. Other than the three that were on the wheel that was on the this thing over here thing with the cryopods so what i'm thinking is if i tow this with the end held up a bit high this might tow a bit more easily so i'm thinking if i put a little hinge part on like that let's just grab a bit of steel plate it should have it at a slight slope which may make it a bit easier for this thing to follow me properly i think there's a chance of it anyway so let's see how i go manipulating this truck to connect this hitch. Oh, almost there. Wonder if that'll attach. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's turn off the hinge locks. I have a trailer. It's even got brake lights. <laughs> cool. Uh, that's not exactly what I was out here to do, but I'll take it. I think it'll work nicely as a trailer. It's the sort of thing that I could probably use as a trailer and repair to be, you know, more at its norm, like, make it look kind of more like how it might have been when it was function, like, fully repaired and still use it as a trailer. Like, I could repair the whole front end of the truck, maybe even make it a drivable truck, but I use some mechanism to get it to hook up neatly as a trailer when I need it to. That could be a fun way of doing it. So it is capable of driving on its own, but it can also be used as a trailer. Like, properly used. So I've been informed the frosty battery is apparently the result of an attempted transplant onto Frosty's rover before it exploded, killing him and his survival kit. And that happened back on week one, so that's been sitting there for several weeks. And I think I'm only the second person to find it. So I, I might collect that. 
I've, if I get back to it after doing a bit more hunting for something else. I'm just, I'm kind of hoping that I've come across some grids, to be honest. Make it a lot easier to build up the cargo container if I don't have to grind down any of the ones that are already part, pretty much full. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Apparently I went around that corner too fast. Oh dear. Oh, it's settled. It's settled. Good. <laughs> Trailer going wild. I see hints of daylight. Oh, I think I might have found someone's base. It's a bit too organized to be a scrap pile. Let's have a look. Try Nord N260. It's definitely someone's base. I haven't had much luck finding any scrap, but I think I know why. I think I've been driving past anything that might have appeared. Very similar crane setup, except a lot more pistons. That's got to have some serious reach. Oh, and a nice little ramp on the back. Uh, oh dear. That doesn't look like it went well. Uh, that's unfortunate. Okay, cool. Well, I will continue driving. I may be able to turn back and head west at this point. Which could possibly lead me back through all of the scrap that I might have missed. That's my hope anyway. My hope was head east until daylight and then head west. Hopefully covering similar ground and picking up the things that I missed on the way as I headed east, but now in sunshine. Or, as the game has decided, in sandstorm. Yay! <laughs> of course that happens. Talk about sunshine and this immediately happens. <sighs> oh. Oh, that was lucky. <laughs> I just randomly decided to veer left, and I happened upon... The heading of a signal. Convenient. Come on, green searchlight. Find the thing. It's somewhere around here. I can't see it though. I'm hoping it can. Alright, we have power towers. We have a rover. A couple more buildings. Oh, I've got one of those um, mine wheel things. That's could have the large steel tubes I need to prepare my wheels on the trailer. Let's go get that first. And there's usually maybe in this engine. Yeah, power cell. There you go. Three large steel tubes there. Oh, that's the other wheel done. Because I'm not really riding on the front two. Well, the two the two with the rear that are less rearward? Not really riding on those. What's on the back of this? A drill. Probably should collect that. I've got a flatbed now. I could just pick up the whole thing. Just tempting. I'll go see what's in this building first. Actually, I'll go see what's in this wreck over here first. It seems a... Oh, and there's a building beyond it. There's a lot going on here. And then I'm going to check out that one with the wind turbine last. Because there's a part of me that's tempted to turn it into a, build a rover again. <laughs> now that I know how to do it, I might be able to do it more quickly. Or, I might get overconfident and everything can go wrong. You know, either way. There's some rifle ammo. This sword is great for computers, 20 in them. I should really drop off all these extra tools I'm carrying. That's not very helpful. <laughs> no. No, don't think that way, Splitzy. That's dangerous. Oh, no. Just had a really dangerous thought. What if I have a large grid trailer? <laughs> what if I make one that's... Oh. No, that's a terrible, terrible, horrible, dangerous idea. But... It's a much easier way to make a large surface. But I think it'll just be way too big for my little crane thing. There's a part of me that does want to kind of build a large grid rover to go and scout with, but there won't be any gyroscope for it. And that makes me not want to do it. Because if there's no Inventory gyro, full. I am definitely going to crash the thing, as proven. Alright, so we've got those sorted. We'll have a look in this building now. 
Yeah, this is the same building. That means it's got the cargo container. Which means... I probably want to take the metal grids and destroy that cargo container. So I really haven't found another source of metal grids. Also, I haven't found a medium cargo container for a small grid for a while. Feels like. Does feel wasteful to grind down the cargo container. But if I don't find grids elsewhere, what else can I really do with it? How else am I going to get the grids for the big one? Am I going to have half constructed ones? Oh, right. Didn't get the motors out of it. I think, I think the right move here is to get rid of this. It's going. I'm taking the grids. They're the important bits for me. Ooh, air vent. Let's get rid of that small battery. I'm going to get rid of the survival kit. Taking the air vent. The reason for the small grid air vent is I'm eventually going to need one of those in order to leave this place. Without it, there's just no way I can leave because I need to be able to pressurize my... Like, I have to be able to pressurize my build whatever I'm using to get up to space. I'm going to grab these small batteries and I'm going to attach them to the rover as well. Let's get them outside first. Okay, I think that's everything I want from here. There we go. Two more batteries underneath. The other ones I'll just slap onto the landing gear. Ah, feels good to be out looting again. <laughs> it's important to do the other things, but it's also important to spend time doing what you love. Be good to get back home and properly deck out my new flatbed trailer. So what I'm wanting is probably a set of buttons that can unlock and lock the landing gear on there because it can be quite difficult to get to specific landing gear. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. It can be quite difficult to get to specific landing gear with uh, build vision. So it can be quite nice to have a like a block button to press to use instead. And you can be more certain that you're getting the correct block. Sometimes it can be a bit tricky. Oh, there's an LCD up there. I'm going to grab that. I am not going to worry about the wind turbine. I have enough power at home for now. What I am going to do is grab the stuff and put a couple of mag plates down here so I can stick that jalopy on the back here. The jalopy being that red truck in front of me. Okay, there we go. Got it. Bring it back in a bit closer. Ah, so nice. I think the trailer is actually making the crane more stable too. That extra bit of mass on there is really quite useful. Spin it around a bit. We should. I get this right by extending that, retracting that, extending that some more, and then bring that down, up, that down. Should be able to get it right at the back of the cockpit of the truck. Oop. I'm stuck on something. Oh. Oh. That's more like it. Is it locked? I cannot tell. What if I just let go? Oh. I think that is locked. If I grab it, am I picking up the whole trailer? Yes, I am. Yeah. Okay, cool. We're done. Stow it. And let's go. Not a bad little hole. Four metal grids. I got a couple more little batteries, another bigger battery, and some other bits and pieces. Yeah, I'm reasonably happy with this. I'm also finding that I am very slow right now. How heavy is that thing? Or, huh? No, it's not how heavy is that thing. What is going on with this wheel? It is embedded in the thing. Let's give it some more suspension strength. Keep it nice and clear of the bed. The park brake's still on. Am I going to have to build a cockpit back there? Maybe I'll just build a remote control. That'll hopefully do the trick. Check the parking situation. I think that wheel I repaired has the park brake on it. I'm fighting it. Okay. Hey, there we go. Now she's free rolling. 
<laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. I might need to put some limits on those rotors and hinges as, that are part of the hitch there. Because, uh... <laughs> I think it's possible I could end up flipping this trailer over. That's not ideal. What little thing do we have up ahead? And I finally got another medium cargo to go on my crane truck. I cannot tell what that is. Uh, it is a survival kit. That's not all that much something I want right now. Doesn't have any med components in it. I'll take the components from this beacon. Yeah. Just scrap all this. Oh, nope. 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 We are going to. Wait. I do have limits set? Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Um, I do have sensible limits set on that. I feel like it's going well past those sensible limits though. Hmm. Or maybe those limits are the only reason that I haven't managed to roll it yet. Regardless, I think it's going to be a fairly long trip for me to get home, so I'm going to hopefully manage to get there next time. While I also think about what I'm going to do to make this trailer a bit of a better flatbed, and also thinking again, like I was saying before, of making it into a proper truck. So it's a truck that gets converted into a flatbed when I want to use it as a flatbed trailer. A flatbed gets converted into a flatbed trailer, not in a flatbed, because it's still a truck as a flatbed. I mean, a flatbed is a truck. Oh man, I am not getting words out in a proper order right now. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what I mean. But next time I will do all those things. So there's all that and plenty more to come. And I will see you then.